Starting October 4th, shiny Galarian birds will debut in Pokemon Go. When I heard this news, I was immediately curious about something. Maybe you asked the same thing. Galarian birds are famously difficult to catch, with a 0.3% catch rate and a 90% flea rate. I wondered, is it possible that the shiny form of each Galarian bird might actually be less rare than the base form? This could potentially occur because while the shiny form spawns much less often, it has been confirmed to have a 0% flea rate. Which means that, assuming you have enough Pokeballs, a catch is guaranteed. It would be a weird and fun oddity of the game if the shiny form were actually more common than the non-shiny form. But to figure out if this is really the case, we have to understand how catch rates work, and then do some math. Going into this, I really wasn't sure which form would be more rare, and it turns out that it's surprisingly close. But let's start with some background and assumptions. First, the chance of finding the shiny form of each Galarian bird isn't known, but we can guess that it's 1 in 20, or 5%, because this is the usual shiny rate of other wild legendary Pokemon, such as Mesprit. Second, Galarian birds are wild spawns. Wild Pokemon are given a random level between 1 and 30, and wild weather boosted Pokemon have a random level between 6 and 35. The randomly assigned level is uniformly distributed, which means that any level in the range is equally likely. This randomly assigned level complicates this analysis because a Pokemon's level affects its catch rate, but we'll handle this by taking average catch rates across all possible levels. Third, on all throws, there is a random chance of a critical catch. This is a guaranteed catch that occurs with a 1% chance. Famously, Galarian birds have a catch rate of 0.3%. But what does this actually mean? Ignoring the 1% chance of a critical catch, which we'll add in later, a 0.3% base catch rate basically means that, on average, an unmodified throw, or a straight throw with a regular Pokeball, no berries and no nice, great, or excellent, will catch with about, but not exactly, a 0.3% chance. I say on average because the exact catch rate depends on the Pokemon's level. Let's look at the actual catch rate formula that Pokemon Go uses. In this formula, BCR refers to the base catch rate of the Pokemon, or 0.3% in the case of our Galarian bird. CPM refers to a CP modifier, which is a number that depends on the Pokemon's level, and is given by this table. Basically, it makes higher level Pokemon more difficult to catch. Multipliers refers to the product of the bonuses from Pokeball type, berries, etc. To get an idea of the effect level has, let's consider level 1 and level 30 Galarian birds. I wrote some Python code to do the calculations in this video, and I'll show you the relevant code for everything I'm calculating, so you can follow along. If we plug in our 0.3% BCR along with the CPM corresponding to level 1, and 1 for the multipliers for an unmodified throw, we get a 1.60% actual catch rate much better than the base capture rate of 0.3%. But if we plug in the CPM for level 30 instead, we get a 0.21% actual catch rate, much worse than the base capture rate. If we average all the actual catch rates for an unmodified throw from level 1 to 30, we get an actual average catch rate of 0.38%. But it's clear that we can't ignore the chance of a critical catch, since the critical catch rate of 1% is much higher than the base catch rate should have a large effect on overall catch rate. Factoring critical catches in, and averaging across all the levels, we get an actual average catch rate of 1.38. Intuitively, this catch rate makes sense. It's approximately the sum of the average we previously found, 0.38%, plus the chance of a critical catch, 1%. I'm telling you this so that you'll fully appreciate just how powerful catch rate multipliers like Ultra Balls and Golden Raspberries actually are. The best possible catch rate multiplier is achieved by combining an Ultra Ball, which has a catch rate multiplier of 2, a Golden Raspberry, which provides a catch rate multiplier of 2.5, use of a Curve Ball, which gives a catch rate multiplier of 1.7, and having a Platinum Medal for the Pokemon's type, which gives a multiplier of 1.4. On top of this, add the Maximum Excellent Throw modifier of 1.9 for an excellent throw on the smallest possible circle. As their names suggest, these multipliers are multiplied together and give a maximum total multiplier of 2 times 2.5 times 1.7 times 1.4 times 1.9, which is about 22.6. If we plug this multiplier into the catch rate formula, take into account critical catches, 
and average across levels 1 to 30, we get an average catch rate of 9.04% on a single throw. It might surprise you to learn that for a level 1 Galarian bird with the maximum multipliers, the catch rate is a slightly stunning 31.2%. Not bad for a 0.3% base catch rate. Of course, not all of us can hit a perfect excellent throw every time. If we assume no throw modifier, but otherwise take all bonuses, we get an average catch rate of 5.36% for a single throw. If you got a nice, great, or excellent, you'd fall somewhere in this range, between 5.36% and 9.04% chance of a catch on a single throw. Astute viewers may already be able to guess at an answer to our initial question, about whether a shiny or non-shiny Galarian bird is rarer. The 1 in 20 shiny rate corresponds to a 5% chance of a shiny catch, and the average non-shiny catch rate, even without a throw bonus, is 5.36%, which is higher than that. And we haven't even taken everything into account yet. Even if the initial throw fails, the Galarian bird flea rate is only 90%, so there's a 10% chance that you'll get a second throw. If we take this into account, then we get an average catch rate per encounter of 5.91% with no throw bonus, or 9.91% with perfect excellent throws. Considering multiple throws per encounter made the non-shiny catch even easier, making it even less rare compared to shiny than it already was. But it's still not over. So far, we've been comparing the shiny rate to the non-shiny catch rate, but this isn't quite the right comparison. Instead, we should be comparing the chance, given that you see a wild Galarian bird, that you catch it and it's shiny, versus you catch it and it's not shiny. Let's first look at the shiny case. If you see a Galarian bird, then there's a 5% chance that it's shiny, and the catch is guaranteed, assuming you have enough Pokeballs. Now, the non-shiny case. If you see a Galarian bird, then there's a 95% chance that it's not shiny, and the catch has between a 5.91% and 9.91% chance of catching, depending on whether you get an unmodified, nice, great, or excellent throw. So, overall, we have to multiply the chance of seeing the non-shiny bird with the chance of actually catching it, to find the chance that you see one and catch it. So, overall, when you see a Galarian bird, the chance of getting a non-shiny without throw bonuses is 5.91% times 95%, which is 5.61%. The chance of getting a non-shiny with perfect excellent throws is 9.91% times 95%, which is 9.41%. And we haven't even considered the case where the Galarian bird is weather boosted. If a Pokemon is weather boosted, then its level is increased by 5, so it will be between 6 and 35. Taking this into account, we get an average catch rate per encounter of 4.59% with no throw bonus, or 7.6% with perfect excellent throws. The overall chance of a non-shiny, including the 95% chance of seeing one in the first place, is then 7.22% with perfect excellent throws, or 4.36% with no throw bonus. Take note of that last number, because 4.36% is less than the 1 in 20 shiny odds. This is very exciting, because this means that in the scenario where you're bad at throwing, and never get a nice, great, or excellent, and only encounter weather boosted Galarian birds, then shiny Galarian birds are actually less rare for you than non shinies. But assuming you get at least some decent, nice, or great throws, your catch chances are at least slightly higher than the 5% shiny odds. So the answer to the original question is that the shiny will be slightly more rare, although by surprisingly little. In the long term, I expect that trainers will end up catching a surprisingly similar number of both shiny and non-shiny Galarian birds. As a bonus, let's consider another question. While a shiny Galarian bird will never flee, it still has a low catch rate, so you might be worried about how many balls it will take to catch. So, let's calculate the expected number of throws it should take to catch a shiny Galarian bird. For all you probability nerds out there, the number of throws until a catch can be modeled by a geometric distribution. The average number of throws required for a catch can be calculated by 1 over the probability of catching on a single throw. So, for a throw with a catch rate of 5%, or 1 in 20, the average number of throws to catch would be 20. But what about worst cases? The math is a little more complex, but we can calculate that with that 5% catch rate, 80% of the time you will catch within 32 throws, and 95% of the time you will catch within 59 throws. This may seem quite daunting, and it is. Make sure to stay stocked up on golden raspberries and ultra balls. 
I hope I got that all right. And if I didn't, feel free to yell at me in the comments. There's nothing I love more than being corrected on the internet. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.